division with rational expressions. So with division, there are three things that you have to keep in mind. You want to keep the fr first fraction the same. You want to change the divide by into multiply by. And you want to flip the fraction that's after the divide by sign. So we're going to keep this as 9y over 9y to the 4 over 6y. We are going to change divide by becomes multiply. And we are going to flip this. So the y squared is going on the bottom. And the 3 is going on the top. You are not allowed to do any reducing until you have it in times. So now I have it in times, now I can start reducing. I see the 9 and the 6. I'm going to cancel them out. That becomes a 3, that becomes a 2. I see the y on the bottom here. I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to subtract one from there. I see the 3 on the top. I see a 2 on the bottom can't do anything with that. I see the y on the bottom. I see this up top. I'm going to subtract the 2 there, which is going to cancel it. Subtract the 2 there, and I'm going to get whatever my answer is. 4 minus 1 minus 2 is 1. Now I'm going to multiply on the top, and I'm going to multiply on the bottom. So I have 3 times y to the 1 times 3 over 2, canceled, canceled, just 2. So my answer here is going to be 9y over 2. So that we have the 3 times 3 makes the 9, the y to the 1, don't need to write the 1, and the 2 on the bottom. Looking at the next problem. Again, we have a division, no canceling yet. We have to flip and change first. So I'm going to keep this the same. 7a squared b over 3ab squared. Change that, now times, and flip this. So the 14ab goes to the top. 21ab, 21a squared, b squared goes to the bottom. It was on the top, now it's on the bottom. Now that I have that done, now I can start reducing. So I'm going to look at the first fraction only, and I'm going to look to see what can I reduce here. So I can, 7 and 3, can't do anything to a. I can subtract that understood 1 from there, canceling out there. Subtract the understood 1 from there, canceling that one out. So I have 7a over 3b times, looking over at this, I see 14 and 21. Both can be divided by 7. So that is giving me 2 and 3. I see my a, a squared, cancel that out, subtract the 1 there. b, b squared, cancel that out, subtract the 1 there. So on the top I have the 2, the a is cancelled, the b is cancelled. On the bottom I have a 3, a to the 2 minus 1, so that's just a, a to the 1, b to the 2 minus 1, so that's b to the understood 1. Almost done, but not quite. Is there anything else I can cancel here? 7, 3, 7, 3, no, 2, 3, no, a, a, yes. So that a and that a go away. Letters, the only letters left are on the same side of the fraction bar, so they have to stay there. 
Now I multiply the top. 7 times 2 is 14. Multiply the bottom. 3 times 3 is 9. C times D is D squared. And there's that answer. Looking at this one. So the first fraction looks okay. That, that one's okay. You can work with that. The second fraction has a trinomial in both the top and in the bottom. So we need to factor that. But before we can factor it, we have to keep change flip. We have to change this and flip that. So that's going to be my first step here. x minus 3 over 2 minus x stays the same. We keep that. This gets changed in two times, and we're going to flip this. So the bottom goes to the top, x squared plus 2x minus 8. The top goes to the bottom. We're flipping x squared plus 3x minus 18. Now that I've done that, now I'm allowed to look for things to cancel, which means I have to factor that apart. So I need more room. nice thing about these, a is equal to 1. So I can use my shortcut here. So I'm taking my 18. It's a negative, so that's telling me my signs are going to be different. b is positive, so that's telling me my larger number is positive. So this is 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, and that is it. I want them to add to 3, so the larger number is positive. My signs are different, so the smaller number has to be negative. So I see my answer is going to be this one. A is 1, so I use my shortcut. So we have the x minus 3 over 2 minus x times, and that was the one on the top, so it's to be on the bottom down here. So my shortcut, x minus 3 times x plus 6. Because when I have the time sign here, that was on the bottom. Going to the other one, we have the 8. So we have 8 be 1 and 8, could be 2 and 4. It's negative, so my signs are different. B is positive, so my larger number is positive. So there's that over there. A is equal to 1 in all of these, so I use my shortcut x minus 2, comes from that 2 right there, times x plus 4, coming from that 4 right there. Let's get rid of the scratch work. Now everything is factored, now I can start canceling. So I have x minus 3 here. I look on the bottom. Do I have any x minus 3s? There. So that and that cancel out. I have x minus 2 here. So I look on the bottom. Do I have an x minus 2? No and no. This one, though, 
kind of close. Maybe I can do something to make it x minus 2. So if I take negative 1 and I multiply it by 2 minus x, distribute that in, that gives me negative 2 plus x, and then I use my commutative property, that becomes x minus 2. Well, now look at this compared to that. They are the same thing. So what I need to do here is I need to change this. I'm going to erase it. I'm going to make this negative 1 times x minus 2. I have to have the negative 1 there because I have my negative 1 times negative 1 equals positive 1. So now I see I can take this x minus 2 and this x minus 2 and cancel them out. x plus 4. Do I have any x plus 4s? No, I've reached the end. x plus 6, double check. No, it's still the end. So now I have my answer. This is equal to x plus 4 over x plus 6. Now I'm going to go down to that one. That one's not as bad as this one. They have already done us the favor of factoring the denominator of that first term. However, we have a divide by sign there, which means we're not allowed to factor or anything until we change that into times. So I need to keep change to flip. So I have x plus 1 over x plus 1 times 2x plus 3 times, flip this. So this 2x plus 3 there goes to the top. The 20x plus 100. goes to the bottom. So that is just upside down from where it was. Now that I have a time sign, now I'm allowed to start fact, uh, canceling out. So I'm going to do that right away. I see the x plus 1 and the x plus 1. That's gone. I'm going to just put a 1 there as a placeholder. Multiply the 1 if it doesn't change anything. I see the 2x plus 3 here, and I see the 2x plus 3 there. I'm going to cancel them out. And what do you know? I've canceled everything on the top out. So my answer is just going to be 1 over 20x plus 100. That is finished.